Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about one of my favorite comic book series, Monstrous. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this series of comic books, then stay tuned. <laughs> So far in the series of Monstrous, there are three volumes and many issues that are incorporated into each of these volumes. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this comic book series because it is incredible. And if you are into comic books, I highly recommend that you go check this out. I want to make videos like this on my channel because of course there's lots of amazing Marvel and DC comic books out there, you know, the legends, the classics, the Spider-Man, Superman, Wonder Woman, woman they're all incredible but there's other comic books to discover as well so although I'll talk about those kind of classics in my videos too I also want to include other titles and monstrous is one of those it's absolutely beautiful the artwork in here is incredible and I'll be showing you a little bit inside of the comic book as well but before we get into that let me tell you a little bit about the story so in Monstrous, we are following Micah Half-Wolf, who is this incredibly strong girl who has essentially survived an, a big war in the world that this um, story is told in. And this war has been between the Arcanix and the Kamea. So the Arcanix are essentially uh, magical beings, and then the Kamea are these witches. And they tend to be the evil ones in this story, the Kamea, but it is a story about magic and folklore and the world building it, it really is about the development of this world that we are being brought into throughout the different volumes I highly recommend that if you give this series a go do purchase as many of the volumes as are out there because you're going to want to flip through the pages and keep going you're not going to want to stop because so much gets revealed as the story goes on and you're going to be left wanting more that's how I felt the very first time I I read this series I actually only had the first volume and when I finished it I felt like there was so much missing like there was so much I didn't really understand and know yet but afterwards um, when subsequent volumes came out and I gave the series another go I loved it even more because I was able to delve back into the world but have a lot more of it show itself to me because it develops through the course of the different volumes in the beginning we get the the gist of what's going on with the different um kinds of people I guess <laughs> that are in this world and also the fact that there was this huge war in the past um, and how this girl comes into our story so she is our heroine she is embodied with this monster hence I guess the title monstrous um, and they're battling each other yet over the course of the story kind of start working together perhaps you don't really you never know whether to trust the monster um, but it's it's interesting she's on this quest to find these items and to find out the story of her past and how she got this monster in her through that she's obviously also connecting to her mother actually because a lot of it is how she came to be like this might be because of her mother um, and because of her family and her background. There's lots of incredible side characters as well that join her on her quest. Coming along with Micah on her adventures are Kippa, the absolutely adorable little fox that is one of my favorite characters because it's just imbued with so much love and heart and it's definitely something that you need because this is a heavy story that you're following along with. And also the cat, Ren, who is a necromancer. Notice as well throughout the story that there's all these, um, almost like they take you out of the story to tell you background and world building through the cats who seem to be this incredibly uh, elegant, long-standing race. They're very proud to be themselves and they they really hold, hold themselves in high regard. <laughs> Um, so they tell you a lot of the backstory of this world that you're being thrown into and it is a story as well about 
uh, women, about the, the strength of women and friendship. It's a story about um, war and the catastrophic effects of war and prisoners of war. So there is some heavy subject matter in here, but it is definitely worth checking out because it's just incredible how they delve into these topics and show you the real raw emotion of each of the characters, whether they're uh, young children that are being affected by this. Um, our main character, she herself was um, a prisoner of war when she was little. And in some of the most, um, the strongest scenes in the story, she harkens back to that and how through that struggle, she found connection and she found uh, her love, um, this other character in the story as well. Tuya, so there's so much subject matter here. There is so much to delve into. I'm gonna flip the camera around now and show you a little bit more of what's inside so you can see a little bit of the artwork and we can continue to delve into the story of Monstrous. So these are the three volumes that are currently out for Monstrous as I'm filming this. So this is the cover of volume one. So look out for this one. And you can see here, great praise from Neil Gaiman. And he is amazing. So if he's saying this is amazing, highly trust it. It's written by Marjorie Liu and artwork is by Sena Takeda and there has been just universal praise for this series. It's an Eisner award winning series. It's also won a Hugo Awards. Um, so it's, it's a good one if you're into comic books and just even into great literature. If you like things like Lord of the Rings or um, anything that's really big world building you're gonna enjoy this series. And let's get into the artwork, as you can already see in the cover. It's almost an anime style, very romantic, um, gothic artwork. Very steampunk too, I would say. And you can see here, it's very easy to follow along, very nicely broken down panels. And the story just evolves very naturally throughout the page. And a lot of the subject matter is intense in this book. As you can see here, um, just one of the sections, um, Mako is being taken captive and there are little children as well because as I was mentioning, she is an Arcanic. So they are a magical race of creatures that although some of them can look human like Mako, most of them do not. Most of them look like animals and they are used um, in this story um, by the humans, um, particularly by the Kamea, which is that branch of witches that are human to perform experiments and to essentially take their magical essence from. Um, that's slightly spoilerish, but I mean, you get into the very beginning of the story, they, they kind of do explain that to you. And so much more evolves from that um, after that point. We can flip through the pages, you see there's a lot of really awesome battles and the motion and the energy that they capture in the artwork is beautiful. You can see here how you can just get the, the movement of what's going on. It really impacts you. And I love that about the artwork in this graphic novel series, that it's just so vibrant, so much is happening in every single page, and you can see and feel the energy of what's going on. Here we can see some of our evil Kumea witches, and look how incredibly badass they look. Like, yeah, they might be evil, but they are some really cool women. This this story has a lot of badass ladies in it, so if you're looking for some girl power, definitely check this series out, because you'll see a lot of that. In a section like this one, you can see a lot of the world building and the explanation. There's also these mysterious old gods that are part of the story, so, I'm trying to give you guys a gist of what's going on here, but really there is way more than I can possibly cram into a video like this. I just want to get you guys kind of interested so that you go and pick this up. Go to your local comic book shop and give this one a go because it's definitely worth really embracing and delving into this world. This is Little Fox. You see why it's one of my favorite characters. Looks so cute. Can we take a second to, it, it is a scary, scary comic book. <laughs> if you're into gore, into, you know, really interesting, almost Lovecraftian style comic books, uh, you'll find a lot of that artwork in here. We got sections like this that start off with Professor Tam Tam. 
So Professor Tam Tam kind of is educating. You can see Professor Tam Tam down here and the little cats that are learning. So Professor Tam Tam essentially stops us midway throughout the story to explain different things about the background of the world that we're uh, observing through the story and gives us a lot of much needed world building context. Professor Tam Tam and the little kitties learning a lot more. It's just a beautiful series of books. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to hit that subscribe button for more comic book reviews like this one. Let me know in the comment section as well, are there any comic books that you recommend for me to check out? I'd love to hear your recommendations. And I hope to also see you in the next one. Love and Lumos always. Bye! <laughs>